One, two, three. There we go. All right. This is a special day. Today, we're celebrating a new, improved park environment. We're celebrating a better connected community. Uh, the park provides an enhanced trail connection between surrounding neighborhoods and the adjacent commercial corridor. And we're certainly celebrating a generous donor in uh, First United Methodist Church who chose to in invest in their neighborhood and community to bring real and positive change. So in addition to the church, I just want to recognize other folks who've been involved. Um, certainly I want to start with the community. Uh, we had great uh, community participation at our neighborhood meeting. Uh, the feedback that we received was, was, uh, was fantastic and really helped inform uh, the park project. I want to thank them. Also, we just want to thank all the different departments that were involved. Um, there were many. It starts with uh, City Give. I want to thank Nina for her work in pulling together sort of the fundraising piece and being a great liaison between the city and the church. I want to recognize the parks team uh, Mike, Leanne, Billy, and Angela, thank you for your work and coordination with us as we work through construction challenges and issues. Re uh, a shout out to Kendra from Forestry and her work um, in tree protection and also just some of the improvements made to some of the tree trees in the park. Uh, I want to thank Valerie and her team uh, for her work in throughout the project, really, uh, in keeping our website updated and also in um, planning this event today. And then a huge shout out to Light and Power, Austin and Jim. Those guys were influential in helping us getting the lighting set up. So I want to thank them, our purchasing department. And then certainly last but not least, I want to reach out and say thanks to Jen Torrey. Jen was our, raise your hand, Jen. Jen was our project manager, uh, project designer uh, extraordinaire, and also kind of played the role of general contractor, frankly, on this project. So I want to thank Jen for all her efforts and just pulling all the different pieces together did a great job thank you so closing I just want to I want to highlight a few of the improvements that have been made in the park I want to start out with safety if we talk about safety we talk about what makes our parks uh, more enjoyable for people to be in and we started with a with removal of a remnant of an old play feature it was located right over here uh, it was old it was a beaver and uh, really hadn't been used for many years time for it to go so we removed that piece. Um, also, we set back the fencing right over here on this corner. Uh, that was property that the city owned, but it had been fenced off. And so by setting back the fencing, it really makes for a safer park. It creates uh, better sight lines from both ends into the park. And then thirdly, you can see the improved pathway lighting. We have new pedestrian lights that enhance the safety here tremendously. We also have new park ID signs. I'd encourage you to go check those out if you haven't on both ends of the park. Um, creation of new planting beds and seating areas with xeric pollinator friendly plant species. Uh, new site furnishings throughout the park, including bike racks, picnic tables, benches, bistro tables, and barbecue grills. And an expanded and enhanced greenway uh, with the addition of a new crusher fine path, as you can see here. So with that, again, I want to thank the church. Thank you for participation, uh, partnership. Thank you for recognizing the value uh, that parks bring to our community. With that, I'd like to introduce our next speaker, um, Mayor Wade Troxell. Well, thank you all for coming out today. What a beautiful day it is in Fort Collins. And it's always a great day uh, in Fort Collins where we can celebrate really our community coming together and doing things together. And this is really a great example of the co-creation that we have in our community. Literally everyone in our community helping to make our community better in various sorts of ways and bringing the talent together that we have on this project and from a city staff standpoint. And, and Kurt, thank you for your leadership and, and uh, pulling this together and, and uh, talking about a connected community. And whether it's uh, through our talent in our parks or our natural areas or trails or trees and light and power and our city give uh, thank you all for making this happen and it's just not a function of city it's really one of community and and coming together and i want to thank melanie and uh, the congregation at the uh, uh, first united methodist church of fort collins uh, um, what a great congregation and and taking it upon uh, themselves to really be a, a, a co-creator in our community to make our community not only stronger spiritually but our community stronger 
um, just throughout our neighborhoods and having a great uh, neighborhood park such as the East Side Park here and, and really uh, uh, and freshening it up and, and really creating a, a lovely park that uh, uh, will be a joy and by many in our community. So it's those sorts of things that makes it special. And I should also point out uh, City Council and District 1 uh, Council Member Susan. Thank you, Susan, for being here. And, and uh, City Council um, has always had great support for our parks. And, and uh, we're so fortunate for all the parks that we have throughout our community. But here having a, a nice neighborhood park that is uh, uh, livened and, and safe and, and lovely is, is a great thing. So I'm so grateful for so many things in Fort Collins. One of the things, and even probably even more so now during difficult times, um, you know, I get involved with uh, a lot of things that involve other communities around the state and nation. And I'm always so glad that to come back to Fort Collins. There's so many things that we're so blessed with. And, and uh, um, I think we build upon a legacy of our past and, uh, and then looking towards the future as well. So we have a wonderful community. And with that, I just want to add thanks uh, again to uh, First United Methodist Church and 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 Melanie and and uh, for working with us and stepping forward and, and making this happen together and demonstrating a commitment uh, through your congregation uh, to our community through this collaboration. So thank you, Melanie, and uh, all those that are here from the congregation, and uh, please share that back to um, your congregation as well. So with that, with this great example, and and uh, even during these times, I think we can celebrate in ways that we're so thankful for a great community and, and great talent and, and uh, the ability to um, improve this park and, and to really create an opportunity for um, you know neighborhoods uh, and, and partners within our community working together. So Melanie, I'm gonna turn it over to you and thank you for being a partner and, and what a great uh, example this is. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me here today. First United Methodist Church of Fort Collins is honored and delighted to have taken the lead in fundraising for the improvement and refurbishment of Eastside Park. It's been a delightful project for us. In 2019, our church celebrated its 150th anniversary. In honor of that milestone, we looked long and hard for a gift we could give to our community. Now, in those 150 years, we've been in nine locations. In 1960, we moved to the corner of Stover and Elizabeth. In identifying a gift we could give to our community, we were presented with the opportunity to help refurbish and improve Eastside Park and lead the fundraising for this project. This felt like the perfect gift to give to our neighbors in celebration of being around 150 years, to investing in our, the quality of life for our neighbors and making the statement that we are here for good. It has been miraculous the way that our members, friends, and community partners stepped up so generously. Our fundraising team worked very, very hard, but it has been a completely positive positive experience to work with the leaders in the city of Fort Collins, City Give, and our generous community partners. I am particularly proud of the generous members and friends of First United Methodist Church. They took a hold of this bold vision from the start and never looked back. I've heard from several neighbors who say how much they appreciate all that has been done here in this beautiful place. It's very impressive and our neighbors are grateful. It's funny when you look as an organization for a gift that you might give others, it turns out that you've really given a gift to yourselves. This gift has paid dividends for us over and over again in deeper relationships, better quality of life, and other people recognizing that our church really cares about our wonderful community. It's been a joy. We look forward to the day when we can have safe programming here in the park, offer movies and concerts and festive events. Until that day, we will continue to be a good neighbor and support this wonderful community. 
thanks to everybody that allowed First United Methodist Church of Fort Collins to be such a significant partner in this project. Thank you. Um, well, I get to wear two hats today. This is really fun because um, I get to be the, and always for a while at least, um, be the um, uh, city council representative for D1 and um, what a delight that is, but also to be the proud uh, member, along with my husband Wayne, of First Church and, um, and all the joys that that, uh, that brings. So I just wanted you to, I wanted to ask you for a second, have you been in a situation where you're in a natural area and you just want to take a big deep breath? I mean, it's just a natural feeling, you know, that you want to take a, a, a big deep breath. And that's, that's what our parks do. They're our nature in the city. They're what allow us to have an opportunity to go somewhere and take a big deep breath. And if you look around and you see what uh, even Little East Side Park has to offer, you can walk your dog, you can gather, you can um, celebrate, um, or you can just sit. And that, that reminds me of a, um, a poster that I had in my room when I was a classroom teacher back in the dark ages. Um, I had this poster and it said, sometimes I sits and thinks, and sometimes I just sits. And that's what you can do in the park, whether it be East Side or, or anywhere else. And so, um, how did this come about? You know, I, I think it started a long time ago when Melanie first came to First Church. And I remember hearing her say, you know, her hope and dream would be to open the church up, to turn it inside out, so that we would be sharing our gifts with the community. And that's what has happened, I mean, over and over again. But this is a significant, tangible, tangible evidence of, of what that does. With her leadership, um, First Church has become a very, very giving place, an embracing place, but a giving place too. And so, um, you know, that's what we have with, with Eastside Park. I have to take one moment to think back to, and I was talking to Mike Calhoun about, about this when we were in um, the meeting, the big meeting room in, um, in First Church, and we were looking at all of the big um, di diagrams, dioramas, uh, graphics of the possible, possible things that we could do with the park. And it seemed a bit overwhelming. So when I look around at what's been accomplished, we've come full circle. And I look at what's been accomplished with, um, what was it, taking away the backstop and exposing that beautiful tree of having a running trail. Um, so many different things, but including light. Light is so important when it comes to a feeling of safety and adding three new lampposts and creating that light um, for the park. All of that has created what you see today. So what a reason to celebrate, don't you think? What a reason to celebrate. And hopefully when you're here, you just take that big, deep cleansing breath because we now have a beautiful natural area right here in the city for you to enjoy.